Hi, after Logical Christmas 2022 challenge, I participated in yet another contest called Commodore Logo called Jam. Now, the goal of this contest was to create a demo or a game with the Commodore logo as the main theme, as the main subject. So, I created a simple demo in BASIC for Commodore 64 and that will be the main topic of this video today. So, let me show you the demo first and then we can take a look at the code together. And if you're interested to know how my little demos actually scored in this contest, well, it was last, but still I kind of like it. By the way, if you haven't seen the results from Logical Christmas 2022 challenge, I would highly recommend that you watch video from G Ray Defender where he covered all the Commodore submissions from that contest, um, including the basic language and assembly language as well. So take a look at that video too. But now let's take a look at my little demo. So this is our code, um, there is not many lines uh, actually, it's just around 50-60 lines of code, not uh, too many. So let me zoom in a little bit, um, just that you can see a little bit more better. And uh, let's divide this in a couple of sections. So <clears throat> first line, just clear the screen, nothing special. Uh, here we uh, set the background and the border to black and set some uh, variables. Um, and here on line 6 um, I define two arrays. And one array is uh, will hold um, uh, positions for the Commodore logo. And the other one will hold um, um, colors, color values. So instead of having just predefined um, uh, positions, um, somewhere in the code, uh, what I actually did is I um, calculate them uh, and generate each position. Uh, so that's the reason why we have that uh, loading sequence at the beginning. So here at this first uh, paragraph or first section uh, here, uh, let me just put some REM statements. 
So here I uh, we I cal calculate the um, C letter shape. So this is E letter. <coughs> with, with each iteration, I call this um, uh, subroutine at line 700. And this is uh, right down here, where I just print the um, uh, loading sequence, uh, which you actually see as part of the demo. Uh, and I know exactly how many um, points do I need to um, have in the end. And I just, with simple, simple um, um, math, you can, you can calculate from zero to 100%. Uh, so, and I use that uh, subroutine for each sequence of, uh, for each part of the Commodore logo. So yeah, that's the C letter and here, let's say at line 49, this is upper uh, part of the flag, that little flag um, beside C letter. Uh, and here we have uh, this is 69, this is the lower part <coughs> of the flag. And in the same time, during um, calculation of these positions, I um, uh, add uh, color. When we reach this part of the code here, we have all the points for our Commodore logo, and we have all the colors. So now, what we do is just clear the screen, and we can now start with our little demo so as you can see we have several sequence <clears throat> so let's go through them so this is um, this is first animation and here we print the, the complete um, C logo um, with all the C letter and the complete flag and during that the iteration of poking positions and, and the color. Um, we call this um, subroutine at 600, and this is actually a little bit of sound. So here I use just a um, quick and dirty solution to produce some kind of sound out of the SID chip. And it just those big pop, 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 pop. Yeah, that's nothing, nothing fancy, but here it is. Um, so where are we? Okay, so after this first animation is done, so the complete logo is um, printed on the screen, then we have um, second part of that animation and that's a uh, snowing effect. So, oh, I'm missing the REM statement. Um, snowing effect is the when the logo is uh, complete, um, we have a little bit of snow above it. Uh, falling on the Commodore logo. Um, again, the same concept uh, during the uh, iteration. We just call this um, 600 subroutine to produce more sound. And that's it. Um, so when that is completed, <clears throat> we need to clear the screen. And instead of just clearing the screen with a command or something like that, uh, again, uh, we use a little bit more, um, create a little bit more animation. And for that purpose, I have two subroutines. Uh, one is um, this one at 550. So this sub subroutine is right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the whole code. So let me just uh, break this a little bit. Here we go. Um, so, this subroutine here is adding um, new lines to the screen, so that means that um, the complete screen is scrolled up <clears throat> together with our little, bit, uh, little logo. So that's the first subroutine. And we have the second subroutine um, doing the similar effect, but instead of scrolling the whole screen up, it, sc it scrolls the whole screen down. So yeah. So, okay, so this is the um, uh, clear the screen with animation. Yeah, clear the screen with a little bit of animation. And then we uh, have a second animation here. This is second. 
animation. And this one is uh, with those um, diamond shapes, uh, diamond Petsky characters, when I create the whole uh, full square and then just color logo inside it. So it's kind of feel like a little bit more like em embossed logo inside that square. And again, I call this uh, subroutine to clear, clear the screen with animation. Okay, and now we have our third animation. Uh, then third animation and that's this section here and in this section I try to double the speed of um, poking the every position of Commodore logo and it's actually uh, printed on the screen in opposite direction um, so I'm starting from the beginning of the array to middle and from the end to the middle almost at the same time and you have that really fast effect where <clears throat> points collide in the middle and after that is done um, we have uh, and I have space for RAM here <laughs> and three lines okay uh, we have that those uh, flashing uh, points on the logo so 100 times I flash the uh, points on the Commodore logo uh, in white color so it get, you get that nice uh, flashing effect and then we jump to uh, subroutine at 500 and this is the subroutine that clears the screen with the whole screen scrolls down uh, with the really nice effect um, so that's uh, 500 that's right here and then we have our fourth animation, uh, when fourth animation, it's right here, this section. And um, there is nothing special about this one, except it does have a little bit uh, more complexity. Points are traveling from the left to the position where they should be and they uh, keep tracking if they um, if i hit something some character that is already at certain position i um, i don't destroy it i just skip it so you get the effect that is um, the point that is traveling from the left is going behind the existing um, points on the screen and um, appearing uh, again on the screen and um, traveling to its position so yeah that's the last animation and then again we clear the screen with the uh, scrolling the complete screen down uh, that's the end and uh, in the end uh, just a little bit more uh, message here and that's that's about it so this is um, the end so yeah this is the whole code this is a whole animation yeah it, it was just um, once I had uh, uh, all positions stored in array then it was just a matter of um, imagination how to um, plot those positions on the screen and um, considering that basic code it's I'm pretty satisfied with this and some people seems to like it so yeah and I will play the animation um, one more time, but, um, but this is all that I have for you today. So this is everything for this video. So until next time, goodbye.